Hi there everyone. Uh, today I would like to show you something that I've found recently which I think is really cool and a really good help for students in terms of their reading and their grammar and your listening as well. So it's called the Immersive Reader. It's, it's part of the Microsoft Word that everyone knows but it's the online version. So I'm just going to show you here how it works and the benefits of it. So you see I've just come and quickly found this file here um, online. I'll just make it big for everyone. Drop it down. This is my students are learning about um, drones at the moment. So this is a drone reading that I've got here. I found this online. So there's the picture and here's the, the article that I've just found online that I want to practice for reading. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here and open a new tab. Just bring that down a wee bit. I'd like to, rather than use a normal word, I need to go to Word Online. So I just type that in. Immediately come into Word Online. Got it here. I'm opening this up. I'll make that bigger for everyone. Now notice over here we've got this word online. That's what you're looking for. That must be, you must be using that version for this to work. So I'm just going to open a new document. Now this is a document I'm starting from scratch, but you, you could have chosen any file you already have. So using OneDrive or using Google Drive, it needs to be an online file though. So I'm going to come back to my drone feature here. Um, I'm just going to this is a quick way of doing it. So in, in anything you can copy and paste. Uh, bear in mind it's slightly different from the device you're using. So if you're using an iPad, some of my students are using iPads, it's a wee bit different. But there you see the text that I've just cut, cut and pasted in there. Now this is the key thing we're going to come to here. If we have a look up here, I'm coming into view. So when I come into view, I see it's the same as our normal um, layout. It looks the same, but it's slightly different. We have this immersive reader. This bit here is the key, so I'm going to click on that immersive reader. We see that opening up, which is great, isn't it? It looks a bit strange for a start. So I'm going to come over to this icon here in my grammar options. Um, and we can also have a look here at our text preferences. So first of all, I don't really like this wide spacing. For some people it's easier, so I'm going to click that off. See, it's a bit more normal now. I can choose the size, smaller or bigger. I can change the background. If you prefer white on black, I'm just going to keep it the same. Um, of course, you can change fonts too. Now, here's the features I want to show you about this next one, these grammar options. So I'm always encouraging my students to think about the grammar that when they're reading. If there's vocab they don't know, what kind of word form is it? When there's vocab you don't know, is it a noun, is it a verb, is it an adjective? These are the three most important word forms or parts of speech, um, and, and in particular the nouns and the verbs. So if I click on nouns, for example, you see them highlighting in purple here? Isn't that cool? And then I could turn that off and go, OK, I want to think about verbs, so I'm going to highlight them. And they're coming in a different color. I could highlight both. So we have the nouns in purple and the verbs in red. You can do the same thing with adjectives. Now this is very helpful, especially if there's a word you don't know. For example, a lot of students understand most of these words, but maybe this ranging down here, what kind of word is it? So it's red, so it's a verb. So that's very helpful for you. Um, another thing I'd like to show you is over here. Um, the reading preferences. So you can come into a line at a time and see that you can focus down into one line and that's really good or maybe look at three lines. The next thing I'd like to show you is that you can listen to it. Now this is really cool option as well. So we can play this audio. On Sunday in North Mankato. His was one of the newest classes offered at South Central College's annual Minnesota State Fire slash EMS slash Rescue School. The school draws more than 600 firefighters from 170 fire departments for classes ranging from reading smoke to farm extractions. Jeff McCabe, the college's director of the Center for Business and Industry, said it's the biggest fire school in the state. Mankato in the past. Rescue crews relied on helicopters to provide aerial support for their searches. As you're listening to it, so that's a very cool option as well, like karaoke. You can change the speed. See we have the settings up here, change from male to female, or increase or lower the speed. So these are two really good options that I think are, are, are really awesome for students to learn through. The first of all, coming back again, these word forms that we can focus on and the listening as well. So every time you have a reading, you can practice your listening. 
So have a go with that, the immersive reader and the online version of Word. I'm sure it will help your reading, hopefully help a bit of your grammar knowledge as well.